No, I would not. My question, well, was that I'm really trying to learn from you, but uh, this was question was that he, uh, he was having a discussion with a Muslim regarding slave girls and that, that I was watching that it was quite nice. Yeah. About the fact that Prophet he took uh, Safiya as a slave girl and that war to Kaaba. Yeah. Look, I had some questions on that as well, but my question regarding Christianity yeah. was that if uh, Adam sinned, why is it that Adam sinned and his sin wasn't that big? It was only eating from a tree or something. Yeah. Why should that sin go in the whole of humanity when they're committing murders, they're, they're stealing, they're doing the whole lot? How could that sin go in the humanity? Why is that, why is that the belief? And then Jesus came to uh, okay. his life. So, so you've got to understand how I interpret Genesis. I interpret Genesis as being... Is it being recorded or not? It is probably being recorded. No, no, no. no. So, what, so that's what my, my question here was that um, uh, I've asked questions before, but this is the question that I can learn from. Yeah. So, what, what is it, so basically, why do they believe that his sin was so great, even yeah. from the tree, yeah. okay. that it went in the whole of a generation in the sure. sense that it inherited it? Yeah. Why is that? So, so you've got to under... Let's start off by how I interpret Genesis. Yeah. Genesis, I believe, is imagery and metaphor yeah. that basically um, that basically is telling us about spiritual truths. Yeah. As a Christian, obviously, I don't believe that you're guilty for Adam's sin. How can you be? You didn't commit it. Oh, so, it's just, so that's what it says. Yeah, we don't believe. Yeah. I don't. I don't believe that you're guilty because Adam sinned. Oh, right. I do not. That's right. right. But what I do believe is that the imagery in Genesis yeah. is telling us yeah. that there is something genetic within human nature yeah. that causes all human beings to sin. And we got that from the first human and it has gone down the genetic line passed on by men. It's in the genetic line passed on by men, right? So, and, and that sinfulness, that sinfulness is selfishness. Right. It is when we place ourselves in God's position and make ourselves the ruler of ourselves, where God should be the ruler of ourselves. Yeah. And the Bible uses this imagery of God saying, don't eat the fruit of the Garden of Eden, this particular yeah, yeah, tree, yeah. but then they do. Yeah. The imagery is, is the imagery. Was that a big sin to, so to the, disobey God? Was that yes, a big sin? the big sin. It was a big sin to disobey God. But it's imagery to show us that human beings are selfish. That human beings look to themselves to be their own gods. And we see examples of that all the way through history, where men make themselves into gods. Caesar made himself a god. Yeah. Xerxes made himself a god. Alexander the Great you, made uh, himself Bob, a god. Can I ask you the question related to that? What, do you think that Paul, who wrote the Gospels or someone like that. Yeah. Uh, the Muslims say that the, the, the original Bible was changed and all that. So the theory that Jesus died for our sins was put in by Paul or someone. And Jesus himself never said, uh, he probably didn't mention Trinity. Yeah. Or the previous prophets didn't mention that the Trinity is something to do with the, uh, or, or giving the life is anything to do with that there's going to be a prophet or a divine person who's going to come yeah. and redeem our sins. So apparently what the, the Muslims also argue that the previous prophets in the Torah are not mentioned, that they mention anything onto that. Can you answer yeah, that? Yeah, of course. So there's a lot, there's a lot that the prophets, there's a lot that the prophets um, mention that never appears in the Quran. And there's a lot. No, I'm talking about the Torah, yeah, yeah, as, well, yeah, yeah. The Torah yeah. as well. But, but so, so, so my point is that the, the Muslim argument works on a false logic. Right. It works on a non. In, it works on an, a fallacious logic, because by that standard, we would have to reject the Quran as well. But to answer your question specifically, as a Christian, yes. I fully accept the authority of Paul. I've got no problem with Paul. Yeah. And so for me, Paul's statements are valid, authoritative statements. And so even if Jesus didn't teach the Trinity, and I believe that he did, and I believe that I can show yeah, it to yeah, you, yeah. but even if he didn't teach the Trinity, but Paul taught the Trinity, for me as a Christian, Paul's words are enough for me to believe in the Trinity, yeah. because I believe in the authority that he has. Right. But I actually do believe, and maybe in another time... But in the Old Testament, was there anything mentioned on the fact that, that the, God about, is, the, about a sin yeah. and it's going to be redeemed by Jesus or someone's going to come and redeem Yes, absolutely. So, for instance, in, in, the, in the prophecies in Isaiah, yeah. in the book of Isaiah, it talks about, it talks about 
the idea that um, the 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 one is coming yeah. who will suffer for the sins of the people. Oh, that's in which chapter is that? It's like, I'll show you. I'll show no, you no, very no, quickly. Because I, because I can sort of read it at home. Yeah, then. it's in Isaiah. Uh, uh, Isaiah. I think it's, I can't remember if it, it's in the 50s. It's one of the 50s. I think it's 52 or 54. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe 56, one yeah, of them. Yeah. Um, I'll read the whole paper. Yeah, have a look at it because it talks about one who suffers for the redeeming of Israel, for the redeeming of the world. Oh, right, right. right. Yeah? And then in the, in the New Testament, we see that the Israel doesn't just mean the people who are yeah. genetically Jewish. Yeah. It means anyone who accepts the promises given to Abraham and accepts the covenants given to Abraham. So why is the concept of Jews with Christianity, like with, with the Muslims, they said they were Ahle Kitab or like they were supposed to believe in Islam, but they didn't. So Jesus was a Jew yep. and he believed the previous book. Yep. Did, do the Christians believe that he was like also like a Jew and that the people, like his mom was a Jew, Mary? Yeah, Jesus was a Jew, his, all, all of his family was a Jew, all the apostles were Jews including Paul. And meaning Jew would mean be genetic, Yeah, being descendant from Abraham via Isaac and Jacob. That's what it means to be a Jew. And, and following the, the, covenants given, the yeah. covenant given by Moses. Now, the, in the new covenant established by Jesus Christ, yeah. those that can enter into the confederacy of Israel yeah. is more than just those born of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. And we see a, a hint of that in the Exodus event, because in the Exodus event, you have the Israelites leaving Egypt, yeah. but with them comes a mixed multitude. Yeah. So even at the foundation event of the Old Covenant, it's not just the descendants of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, it includes the nations. So where does the word, uh, the court, well, you know where like, like the Muslims, they say that the Beni Israel were the people of uh, yeah. uh, Jesus, and that does the word Israel or Beni Israel come in the Bible as well? Like, yeah. Is, is, because Israel was created now, you know, 100 yeah. years ago, 70 years ago, but and that was in the name of Yaqub. Yeah, the Jacob was Israel. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, so yeah, Israel is mentioned as Jack, uh, Jacob yeah. in, in the Bible. Exactly. Oh, so does it mean that Israel was a nation in the Bible as well? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a nation at that point, but the descendants of Jacob, i.e. the 12 tribes, those 12 tribes become the nation of Israel. Oh, right. right. But at the Exodus event, yeah. the mixed multitude are grafted into Israel. They become part of the Old Covenant. And that is a foreshadowing of the fact that in the New Covenant, Christ sends the, the, his Jewish church out into the nations to teach and baptize and to, to teach people to keep all of his commandments in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And thus establishes a new covenant, yeah. which is for all the nations, including you and me. Oh, that's cool. so that hey, what's your name, good. Uncle? Oh, my name is Masood. Masood, it's really yeah. lovely yeah, speaking to you, Masood. Yeah. Um, how about me and you meet up? Because I know you've got more questions. And, and, yeah, and, no, no, that's it. Yeah. No, I mean, but how about me and you, Masood? We meet up for a coffee in the middle yeah, of the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'll give you my card, yeah. drop it, get in touch with you. I'll give you my card with your email. Right. But I haven't drop got us the... an email. Yeah. And let's meet up, we'll grab a coffee. No, and we'll there was talk like some, because, because obviously, you know, with the Muslims, they, uh, uh, the Christian, the Christian, when they come out of Muslim, they will say that Prophet Muhammad was a false prophet because yeah. the whole philosophy is wrong. So when the different sects meet, they're talking one sect is like the Sunni said, the Shia wrong, Shia said that those wrong. Yeah. Said. But when it comes to Christians, they directly say that Muhammad wasn't uh, wasn't supposed to. It wasn't prophesied that he was going to come. Exactly. Because Jesus. So in that way, the, the, the just one small answer you didn't give me. Yeah, basically, Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what his religion is, is that you just do bad and you go to hell. You do good and you go to heaven and then you repent. The repentance is and these kind of things. Yeah. So. It's a more logical thing that Satan, there's Satan the devil who's gonna, who's gonna uh, tell you to do bad and uh, just like Adam was, was sinned because of... So where was the philosophy of Christianity is that Jesus had to give his life even though he was God himself or divine. So he had to come to this world. Uh, I just wanted to find out what was the reason that the God had to do that. Or okay. Jesus had to do that. Are you gonna keep it basic? Yeah, very basic, but then when we meet, I can go over yeah. it in more detail. The first one is that God created us and therefore God requires of us yeah. one holy life. Right. We haven't delivered on that debt. So now we're in debt to God 
And because of the sin that we have, because yeah. we've allowed ourselves to live in sin, yeah. we're under a curse, which yeah. is the curse of death. Yeah. So, two of the reasons... We're under a curse. Yes, we're under the curse. Yeah, but was it just because Adam sinned? Yes, it's because Adam sinned and, and Adam we... And Eve. Adam sinned, but Adam is a representative of all of us because we all sin. So all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and the, the curse of sin is death. Now, Christ comes to pay the debt, so he delivers on the holy life, to take on the curse yeah. that, that we have lived under, but he also comes to teach us how we should love yeah. the Father, and how we should love our neighbor. Yeah. And so he well, comes... He said a very good teaching. Yeah. Jesus said a very good teaching. I read the gospel myself. So this is the reason why God becomes a man, to do those four things and I probably miss something. Yeah. Okay. Well, meet again. That's Masood, nice. let's Thank meet you again. Thank you for giving me Get time. in touch. It was really yeah. lovely. And we will I always give a gift to anyone. You. That was a very nice conversation. Good, I want to give you a gift. I want to give you a gift. Um, I have got some questions regarding the Safiya. Muhammad Muslims claim, yeah. Muslims claim that he was forced to go and attack them because they were the conspiracies and then but obviously I want to know the background whether the Christian way of the way the portrait going to cover and taking all their land and that was because he was going to attack them or was it because uh, they were doing conspiracies and they he had to yeah. get rid of them from Medina so I take it you've got a Bible at home right yeah 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 I thought so yeah, but, uh, just, you got some it's just a little leaflet, have a read of it, yeah. and maybe we'll talk about it when we meet up. Yeah. All right. All right God bless yeah. Masood. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye-bye.